At Calexico Mission School, crossing a border twice a day is just part of the everyday routine. Welcome to All God's People. I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey. Operated by the Southeastern California Conference and located in Calexico, California, Calexico Mission School is literally a stone's throw from the border. Most of the students are from the neighboring city of Mexicali, Mexico. Approximately 85% of the nearly 300 students reside in Mexico and make their daily journey across an international border just to attend school. Rain or shine, the students make their journey to school where they receive an education second to none. There's time to play and time to pray, and there's a whole lot of learning going on. Recently, when the military was deployed to the border, a group of CMS students saw an opportunity to share homemade burritos with some of the soldiers. What an awesome witness. These young people are finding new ways to live God's love. God bless these young people and all of our faculty and staff who make Calexico Mission School a unique and special place. Our church members and friends in the Paradise area have some amazing friends. Do you know what our fellow church members up in the North Pacific Union did recently? They raised nearly $500,000 for fire recovery in Paradise and the surrounding area. When Northern California Conference set up a special fund to respond to the devastating tragedy, hundreds of members in the Pacific Northwest joined others from around the country to donate towards church-organized relief efforts. Mark Remboldt, NPUC Vice President for Finance, helped to coordinate the donation efforts with local conference treasurers. And their six local conferences in the North Pacific Union mobilized their members. As of December 31, 2018, more than 481,000 had been collected. A huge thank you to our sister union in the Pacific Northwest for your generosity and continued prayers for all of those impacted by the fires in Butte County, California. We just can't get enough stories about our students and teachers. And here's one that's very, very special. At Arroyo Grande Valley View Adventist Academy, teacher Glasman Ellis helps her students become published authors. Ellis introduced her students to the Young Author Program she initiated, published by Student Treasures, a student-based publishing company. For students grades five through 10, this was an opportunity to write, design, and publish their own work. The students go through the entire writing process, learning all the steps to become a published author. How incredible is that for these young authors? KEYT TV thought it was a good story too and sent a crew out to cover it. The link to their story is in our program bulletin. The Pacific Union Recorder for March should have arrived in the homes of our members by now. The theme this month is patience and I think you'll enjoy the articles and reports that our communication directors across the conferences, as well as our editorial team here at the Pacific Union, have pulled together for this month. And next month, our April issue will be our second annual education issue. We'll be sharing more about it soon, right here on All God's People. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.